It took just a couple of minutes, but a thief made up with $50,000 in jewelry from a Santa Fe business. As News 13's Aaron Drawhorn shows us, surveillance cameras got some pretty clear pictures of the crook. At the Earthfire Gems Gallery in Santa Fe. We've got a big problem. It's constant, constant, constant. And it kind of takes the fun out of things. Owner Forrest Bradley is tired of dealing with the troubling trend. This one was a particularly bold fellow. This guy has no intentions of buying anything. He's on candid camera pretty well. Friday afternoon, the thief goes to the main case and leans over. He slips open the case, looks around, and walks off with a tray of gold rings. Make sure nobody spotted him yet. Opened his backpack and dumped 40 gold rings into his backpack and boogied out the door. The grab and go heist was costly. 50 grand, all gold rings, rubies, sapphires, rubies, emeralds, etc. Santa Fe police hope with a clear image like this, someone will turn in this thief. We see a lot of very brave criminals, again, walking in, no disguise, no attempt to even cover up who they are. And to us, it looks like they're desperate. Desperate, and the owner. I've got strong opinions about this. Says he knows why. The big problem is the meth addicts, and the heroin addicts. I have compassion for these people. I just don't think they should be treated as criminals. I think they're sick. They should be treated as sick people. But under our present system, with 50 grand in valuables taken, this man will be arrested and treated as a criminal if someone turns him in. Aaron Drawhorn, KRQE News 13. The owner says he's seen an increase in shoplifting. He says at this point, the valuables stolen could have been shipped out of state.